Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes, good morning, good morning. Feeling pretty well this morning. Uplifted and encouraged by the comments that I've already read on my previous video. And I was taking out the braids or the plaits from my hair. And after I did that, then I went ahead and tightened a few of my locks around the perimeter. I felt like they were feeling a little loose. And this is the lock that I put in. Still looking pretty good. This is the lock that I put in. When I say put in, I mean that I reattached that lock. And I reattached this lock. And it's still looking pretty good. So I wanted you to see just how my hair looked when I took it down from the braids. Pretty much by me pulling it to the back, it stretched. And I wanted you to see that. And let me tell you that I believe that the tension that I put on my hair during the time I was wearing the ponytail in my hair and looking cute and trying to make sure that my sides were pulled back neatly, I think I compromised some locks on my edges because they were the one that was being pulled the most. And I wanted to just warn you about that. I wanted you to see my edges too. Okay. And because everybody is always telling me that my hair is so full, it's growing so long, but my hair is still doing what my hair did before I had sister locks, but it's just doing much better. My edges were already thin and I think I'm going to yeah, place a video link in the cards where I showed you what I did way back to hide my secret of thin edges. I believe that along with heredity and the tension that I put on my hair in the past when I was younger and I had relaxed hair and I would roll my hair at night with sponge rollers that were not covered for any safety purposes. All I did was I would roll my hair with those sponge rollers. And of course I would do it tight for the look that I wanted, that I was also compromising my edges. I am now at the point where I don't want to compromise my locks and so I am trying to be as safe as I can with dealing with them. I know there are those that have much more of an issue with hair loss than I have. But sometimes our hair loss goes back to things that we did in the past. And we damage our follicles and then the hair does not grow back. There are clients that I have that have been diagnosed. And when I say diagnosed, they've gone to a dermatologist to find out what's going on with their hair. And then they really find out what's going on with their scalp. Hair grows in a healthy scalp. And sometimes we damage our scalp with pins. Like when we used to wear those French rolls and we'd wear them for weeks and when those pins were in, in order to hold it snug and tight for as long as you wanted to wear it, sometimes there were pins that was sticking you in the scalp. Some people would do this or they'd adjust the pins just a little to decrease the pain. Decreasing the pain does not take away the results that occurred as you are suffering through the pain. Some people have had really tight braids. I remember one night my granddaughter came home after having her hair braided and warned by her sister not to have her hair braided. But it was so pretty 
and she said, Ganny, but my head hurts so much. And I think that she took some Tylenol or some other pain medication. And when we woke up the next morning, she no longer had braids. My darling granddaughter could not sleep in those braids. Spraying water on her hair did not loosen those braids. She had extensions that were placed in with her own hair and it was really snatched, you guys. Pretty much if she let those braids stay in, her hair really would have been snatched, snatched right out of the scalp. That's how tight she said it was. I have never worn braids like that to that extent. I've had my hair braided one time and I'm not going to discuss it because my, my sister-in-law did it and she did it for free and I took it out and she was upset. Though she loved me, she was upset. She put her hard work into doing my hair. So let's just be careful about how we treat our scalp, how we treat our hair, because we want to keep our hair and we want to have healthy scalp. I am going to see if I have clients that will be willing to help me do a video on what we call alopecia. And alopecia I know is caused because of different reasons. Sometimes it's tension, medication, hair loss can come about as a result of having a child and several other different reasons. I am not a doctor, dermatologist or anything like that. When this video is done in the future, I am just going to be asking my clients different questions in reference to their hair loss and their history of hair care. And that's what we need to pay attention to, our hair care. Yes, and this is how my hair looks. And then I'm also gonna show you a little bit more of my outfit for the day because my son has been helping me to develop <laughs> my Excel natural hair business and bringing more awareness to it so that I am able to reach more people, get my hands in their hair to do what I do. And what I do is care for natural hair. This is a sister who loves her locks. I love my friends, my family, my subscribers and my followers. But I especially love God because he's been so good to me. Now I'm gonna show you my outfit in the next clip. But I want you to know also that I am not going to be wearing my hair like this today, all down, because I do have to go into the salon. But what I am going to do is this. And it's gonna be a very quick hairstyle. I'm gonna speed the video up for it. Not a lot of tension. You guys, this could be a hairstyle. Yes, it could. And now my 360, but I want you to hang in there to see my outfit of the day.
Have a great day. This is a sister who loves her locks. I love my friends, my family, my subscribers, my followers, my clients. But I especially love God because he's been keeping me. He's been strengthening me. He's been encouraging me through his word, the circumstance, and his people. And I thank him for it today. Enjoy your day. Have a great day.